Day 13, Part 13. So after finding all of this information out uh, from Dr. Alex Kaler, it was like, hey, perfect. I got some solid evidence, solid proof, even, uh, you know, an admission pretty much from the guy who did the original testing that there is a very high probability for an error to have occurred back then and that even he believed that the testing from now uh, is more accurate than what had occurred back then. So again, I had mentioned that before when I had found out that, hey, this is possibly an error, went down to the courthouse, I called the Department of Social Services, uh, I called the state, you know, there's just, there's just nobody that, that deals with these types of, of things. Uh, so you just get passed around from one person to another. There's no department within uh, our government that uh, can handle such a thing. I even went down when I got to the courthouse <clears throat> and I got a copy of my birth certificate. I had to show the lady that there was only one name on it. And I said, okay, now that I have this, how do I get it changed? And she just kind of laughed and had no idea. Uh, so eventually I called the uh, director of Department of Social Services in Peer, South Dakota. Uh, uh, Gail Stoltenberg was her name and uh, she knew of me. She had heard of my story, um, probably because my mom and I, uh, you know, had called quite a bit to just try and get things figured out and it, and it spread quickly. And, you know, she was, was very empathetic with the situation, but was also extremely careful in the words that she, she chose. And, you know, her stance was the, the best recourse for me to, was to contact, you know, an attorney, um, because of the statute of limitations, basically, she told me that, you know, 18 years and one day is too old to establish paternity in the state of South Dakota. And that and, until that law has changed, there's nothing that the state needs to do or, or is responsible to do to, to change any of that. Uh, so for that matter, I, I, I'll never, you know, my birth certificate will, will always just have one, one name on it. So I started reaching out to some lawyers, uh, again, and, and not really getting anywhere, but one of them asked me to quantify what uh, we had, had gone through. So I was able to do that with some hard numbers. Uh, you know, the, the child support uh, on one hand was the $79,488 is what would have been old, owed in child support that, that Howard would have pay, had to pay. Uh, plus half the medical bills that were, you know, nearly another $500,000. But, you know, military child insurance, uh, military schooling assistance, military benefit access, you know, any retirement or inheritance that, that would have, uh, you know, I would have gotten from knowing my father. You know, not only the emotional scrutiny that myself and my mother uh, you know, lived with for our entire lives. So, you know, when I was quantifying it to this lawyer, it's like, okay, it's not about that. And it never really was about that. But now that the, this lawyer says, well, if you're, you know, going to sue for something or try and make something change, it, it, it needs to be quantified. Well, I just really want to know who I am. You know, there, there's a there's a medical need for me to know the other side of, of, of who I am. Um, and and that's what I'm being denied, and that's what I'm out to to change. It it never was about money. It never was about about really anything else other than find out who I am. And uh, now that I'm close again, I'm I'm, I'm not going to give up. But uh, tomorrow I'll tell you a little bit more about my interactions with the lawyers and why uh, they want me to quantify it, but then they want me to put up a, a large sum of money just for them to even take a look at it because it's taking on the state. So uh, the legal system without having the law changed is not very beneficial for anybody in my circumstance. So uh, thank you for uh, paying attention. Again, share this with, with whomever you can. I, I want to get a following behind this to, to help with the cause, but uh, appreciate everything that, that, that you guys are saying. It's, it's good feedback. Thanks.